This is a manifold runner, intake manifold runner out of a 2008 Lexus IS 250. See that nut right there? It's not tight yet because I haven't tightened it. When I took this, this is the little motor, the electric motor that operates that. There's a gear right in there. It's got a little yellow lithium grease on it. And it runs across this rack right here. And when it does, it moves these butterfly valves back and forth. Which, the purpose of this, some people when they explain it, they say it makes your intake runners longer or shorter. Making it, making the air take more time to get to the cylinder than at other times. I don't know if it really makes it, it makes, it increases the volume. I don't know about, uh, I guess one side's, no, it's all intake. Um, it increases the volume. I don't know that it makes it longer or shorter, but anyway, at any rate, it's all about volumetric efficiency. And it, it keeps this, uh, it changes this butterfly valves in these intake runners ports, I call them ports, but it changes it based on your throttle position. If you're wide open throttle, you know it would probably be like that. But it, it adjusts this with a com via a computer and, and this sensor right here, that's your position sensor. Lets the computer know what position these things are in. It um, moves that to get the most out of the air fuel ratio you've got going in your engine. And that's about it. All it does, as far as I can, as, as, as I understand it, that's how it works. I don't know if I'm gonna put this on YouTube or not, but this is just for my son because it's his car. But there's a screw right here in this linkage. It'll have a washer behind it. This washer right here. I'm not reusing it right now. There's a nut on the back side of it. It's square. I made that one. This is just a regular 1032 screw I've got in this. The reason being, when I took it apart, I didn't know it was a left hand thread. That's the original part. It's got a little arrow on it, just like that. That is a left hand thread. You, I tried to get that screw out and I cracked it off, snapped it off inside. That's why I had to drill this They've got it a left hand thread on this and they've got it Loctited up as well See all that blue around there. That's that was completely covered in Loctite and I had to heat that damn thing up with the torch after I got this easy out in there It wouldn't back out. I was going to snap it off Drill a hole through it with a 40 bit Put that easy out in there. It's a number one, I think. Any rate, it wouldn't budge until I heated it up to the torch, and I had to keep a little butane torch on it the whole time I was doing it. Redonkulous. Now they put Loctite on this little piece of linkage right here, so this wouldn't come off. With this dead blame nut that's inside this canister. It's inside this motor. It's mounted on the back of the manifold. This is up, or up against your firewall. Underneath that big black manifold. I mean, it's as far away from any human as you can get it. And they don't put Loctite on that thing. And I read on a forum, somebody tried to fix it themselves and they found the same thing that I found. This nut had just backed off and it was laying inside here. That's some BS right there.